Love and Randy are playing Farming Simulator 22, and welcome back to the Upper Mississippi River Valley, episode 102, I think, correct? Uh, I, again, I mean, I don't typically pay attention to my episode numbers here. Uh, until uh, last episode there, I was uh, I was working on getting the uh, last episode all edited up and exported and all that uh, good stuff. I'm like, oh my goodness, that is, that was episode 101, if I'm uh, not mistaken. Uh, I can actually go in the comments later, I'll uh, verify that, but uh, yeah. Episode 101. Oh, that's deeper than I thought. Episode 101 there last time. Episode 102. Not very often, I'm going to do I uh, exceed 100 episodes in a series. So, if, if your folks want a hint, maybe you should check this map out. If you haven't already uh, done so, might be worth you know, playing on. Just saying. Definitely I have to put this in my uh, top five. I'm not sure it's number one of them, but uh, it's, I would say it's definitely in the, uh, the top five. So... Anyway, what uh, kind of mischief are we up to here this episode? Actually, a couple of things here I just realized. Uh, did I forget to plant field 47? I did, didn't I? Okay, so we actually got more things to do this episode than I thought. Um, we got to plant field 47 yet. Yeah, I completely forgot about that uh, field. And then I was heading out to... This is not the weeder. Hmm. Let me go grab the other piece of equipment here. Uh, I was heading out to go weed fields 41 and 42. I thought, anyway. Not paying attention to what piece of equipment I have here, did I? Okay, that's a little steeper than I thought it was. Let's see how well the vent does. Ah, no problem. Climbs right back up out of there. Turn it around. Okay, in, in fairness, I mean, this looks very, very similar, I think, to the meter. At least I think it does, anyway. Uh, we'll have to see if I can find the meter for a minute. Yeah, this is... This is... What is this, actually? Uh, cultivator, I think. Have I ever used this? I apparently have used this thing, I'm guessing. Wow, this tractor is 90 hours out. Oh, my goodness. Oh, speaking of 90 hours, actually, if you add up the uh, amount of hours on the episodes, I mean, again, typically my episodes are usually right around 30 minutes long. You know, give or take a couple minutes here and there. Uh, at 102 episodes, Evan, that is 51 hours of content on this map. Uh, 51 hours of recording. Keep in mind, this tractor has 90 hours on it, so... Wow. Okay, just uh, just thinking about those numbers there. Okay, where's the meter? Did I miss it. Um, I'm almost there. No, this, there's the meter. Okay, the meter is behind the 8R. I was thinking the meter is behind the fence. Okay, no, the meter is behind the 8R. Well, that's fine. I wanted to, uh, didn't want to drive this tractor anyway. I'm in red now, you know. Rubbish, rubbish. Absolute red. <clears throat> Rub rubbish. Uh, the rims, that is, anyway. The rest of the tractor is kind of, you know, that uh, the wrong color green. See, see what I mean? That one, the, these both look very similar. This one's a little dirty, I guess. But uh, if we were to clean this one up here, I'm sure it would be uh, a little more red. Yeah, same brand, Porsche. Porsche Cura. Uh, double check. This is the weeder, right? Yeah, this is the weeder. Give it a little polish in here. Handheld uh, pressure washer, by the way, for the win. Oh, we've got to clean the tractor, too. I do also have the, uh, uh, the the mod that like automatically washes as well. I think it's at midnight or something. Actually, no. Or do I not have that mod? That's the repair mod I'm thinking of. Maybe I've been, never mind on that one then. Actually, but there probably is a mod that does that. I just don't think I have it. Who knows? Anyway. Okay, yeah. See, there we go. Yeah, like very, very similar unless you're really paying attention. So anyway. Okay, there's the weeder. That is the piece of equipment I wasn't looking for. But... Terrible. Terrible. I got all the rest of the equipment put away, though. I guess I forgot about the trucks. They were still sitting out on the road yet. Also, speaking of uh, equipment I forgot to put away here, uh, I was looking, like, where is the other combine? Because I put the one combine away. I went, like, where in tarnation is the other combine? Uh, well, you'll see it here in a few minutes once we get out to field uh, 42. Uh, also, the uh, truck for the header is over there. It's like, oh, that's, that's interesting. Okay. So, combine and header are missing. I'm not entirely sure where I left them, to be exactly honest. That one, I do know where they are now, and I know where they are now is not where I left them. So, I'm like, okay then. Hey, you folks, see here, but we get around the corner here, and, and yeah, also we'll have to uh, get a planter out the field of 40, which number is that, 47 as well. Might actually grab our uh, small seeder for that one. That might actually be a good choice. I mean, uh, the DB120 and the big air seat, you know, they're just going to be way too big for that uh, field. Uh, to throw a horse play on it, which I'll probably do because I thought I was going to do some weeding here. Uh, a job I don't typically ever do, I mean, because 
lot, you'll see why here. There is no way for me to tell where I have and haven't weeded. This, unfortunately, it changes absolutely nothing. Now, well, actually, let's rephrase that. But visually, this changes absolutely nothing. As far as weeds go, though, it removes the weeds. And that's obviously what I'm going for here. Uh, actually, I was about ready to fast forward time, and I realized, wait a minute. Uh, you know, I should probably do something with the weeds first, shouldn't I? Oh, yeah. Almost forgot. Can I mind anyone? Yeah, I'm just sitting on the field there. I'm like, what in the world? That's not where I left that. That's most definitely not where I left that. Also, now we have the problem, too. How am I going to get that out of that field without uh, destroying crop? In fact, uh, it probably has already destroyed crop. I think what we're going to have to do, I want to see if we can pick it up here. If it hasn't already destroyed the crop anyway. I don't see any, like, path out to it. So I'm assuming we're good. Actually, what I probably need to look at... Oh, what's green? If it did destroy, it would show it. This one, maybe? That's probably the one that would show it, I would think. And it's looking good. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think it's actually destroyed anything yet. So, what we're going to do, we're just going to pick this up and carry this out of here, everyone. And, and the thing is, too, I know, everyone, as soon as I get into this combine, it will definitely destroy. Oh, hello, pole. Oops. Uh, pay attention where we're going here. Sneak that underneath the wires. There we go. As soon as I were to get into that combine, it would definitely, definitely destroy the crop. So just uh, FYI on that one. Like, if you have a combine out in the middle of the field like that, it will destroy the crop. If you have crop destruction turned on, that might be... Uh, I guess that's what we could have done, too. I mean, we could have gone in and turned the crop destruction off. Oh, pole there, too. <laughs> we're just doing good with the poles here today, aren't we? Um, could have turned the crop destruction off, drove it out, and turned the crop destruction back on. Which, again, by the way, I am playing with crop destruction turned on, as I've said before. Uh, oh, okay, well, that sign has a collision on it. Cool. Let's see if the next one does. Yes, excellent. I mean, oh, I mean, terrible, terrible. It's such a bad thing that it has. Uh, uh, oh. Just don't tell the road commission, I mean, do not tell the road commission their fault for putting the bloody sign in there anyway. Look okay, at that one. was just on purpose. I don't know what to say about that one. I mean, could have I avoided that one? Sure. Could I have avoided that one? Oh, apparently not. Okay, we're just heading to uh, field 47 here, by the way. Actually, there's a... I did not realize there's actually a road entrance here. Huh. I don't think I've ever used this before, have I? Let's see if we can sneak in here. Ooh, that's a little close there. We can now run up here and put this back on the trailer there. Uh, again, as I've said before, uh, for those of you who've been watching the series, you've seen this here before. I'm obviously not using the proper header trailers here for this header. Uh, that is because these headers don't like to stay put. Actually, I wonder if that's why the combine was out. That's you know, probably why the combine was out in the field, that one. Uh, this header was probably dragging the combine around, I bet. But in order to uh, keep these headers in place, Evan, you put them on this trailer here, put the straps on, and uh, they will stay in place. It works quite nicely. Get them up here anyway. There we go. Maybe the one down, the uh, the trailer is just a little bit short for it. Come on. A little bit more. It did. Come on. Work most there we go there we go there okay we're good I might be a little further on than what I thought it was but anyway good enough and we'll uh, turn the straps on here and then that header trailer or that header on that trailer will not go anywhere I'll just uh, leave this park here for the moment ah uh, we'll take care of uh, that here in between episodes at some point one of the episodes you, you folks know how it goes right. Okay, let's grab... I don't think I have any tractors up here, do I? I don't think I do. A couple sprayers sitting in the shed here. Haven't actually used the sprayers and spreaders here. Actually, speaking of sprayers and spreaders, I just remember this. Uh, are our fields all good for this? I probably should check that, right? Hmm, precision farming here. pH. Ooh. I'd have to check that field. Uh, 47 definitely looks like it's good. 42, I'm going to guess is good. 41 might need some lime, though. Might have to double check that here. 
Actually, let's let's do that right now before I forget. There's apparently a truck over here yet. Cool. I'm not sure why. Ah, it's a seed truck. Okay. How are we looking over here? Oh, the pH is bad. Okay, yep. Don't need to go any further. Out. We need some pH on that field. Okay, so we got some things we need to do here this episode. I, I thought we just had to do some weed in here, everyone, which I almost forgot about that, too. Apparently, uh, apparently I missed a few things here. Uh, we need some lime. We need to plant a field. Put some equipment away. Ooh, good. They're already set up to it. If you could uh, kindly head that way. Let's go grab our spreader here. Are you the right one? No, I need this one. Which has the lime in it. Perfect. And then you need to go field 41. I might have to wait till the other truck is out of the way here because they're probably going to be both on the same same rock. We'll just uh, park on the uh, park on the boat here a minute. Okay, there we go. Once the other truck passes, we'll uh, have him drive over there. And then, one last thing, we need the planter yet. And again, there is no tractor up here. Okay. Actually, I think the uh, Kubota is up here, but I don't know if I can quite uh, pull that uh, planter with a Kubota. So let's go grab another tractor here. Oh, uh, you know, we got a few tractors sitting around here. What do we got? Ooh, nice looking 8RX there. Hmm, yes, that'll, uh, another nice looking 8RX. You know what? This is kind of our plant tractor. Let's, uh, let's take this one. on the row crop db120 but uh i think it can uh pull our grain drill just fine as well actually technically also see air seeder as well just a smaller air seeder i think a little more appropriately sized i think the folks would agree uh for the field we are going to at least in uh farming simulator 22 here so far but i'm not really played on a whole lot of maps that have needed, uh, you know, like John Deere DB120 or even the giant uh, John Deere air seeders there. I just have not played on that many really large maps. And, and, and at least in my opinion of one, I think you really kind of need the large maps like this one here, for example. Uh, at least some of the fields anyway. Not not all the fields, I don't think, but the one we're going to. I mean, yeah, could we plant the DB, or plant that field with DB120? We could. God, this might be more trouble than it's worth, though. Trying to make it uh, navigate all the turns in that field. And if it was maybe just like a perfectly rectangular, squarish field, sure. But uh, again, a lot of the fields on this map are not perfectly just rectangular shape. Now, hop out here a minute. Get back into this one here if we can. Nice of auto drive to have a collision detection for that. Mm. Horse play. Just a second. Okay, we're going to switch that over to uh, soybeans. There we go. Uh, what... Oh, this thing is like completely empty. Wow, okay then. Let's bring the seed tender out here. Actually, uh, where's the seed tender? It went past. Should have had him come to this field, shouldn't I? Hopefully they're still, actually, you know what? Uh, I think the seed tender is almost empty too, isn't it? Okay, yeah, seed tender is also empty. Perfect. Yeah, because we used up all the seed uh, on the last stuff. You know, the... Oh, you're still on that. That's why. Turn that off. There we go. Question is, do we try to back this all the way up to the driveway, or do we just uh, turn around here? Let's test out our backup skills. We have one. What are the chances I can back all the way up to the driveway here? Without Actually, I have to back up to the road. Probably be the easiest. What are the chances I can back up all the way to the road? I have one. Place your bets. Place them now. What do you think? Five bucks? Ten bucks? Twenty bucks? Oh, give me fifty bucks. I can uh, back all the way up the road. I think we're looking pretty good. I'm gonna, I think this is a bet I can win here. Almost 
there, almost there. Hey, there we go, and I think I'll, uh, I'll take that. Never even had to uh, drive forward and straighten out at all. Got it all the way back, no problems. It helps, by the way, when you're backing up trailers like this, the longer the trailer is, usually that is a good thing. Uh, the closer the axles are to, you know, the vehicle you're backing up with, yeah, that just it usually makes it even harder. And then, of course, you yeah, get the, the steerable axles up front, like, you know, a gravity wagon or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> Have fun backing that up, Evan. That's, uh, yeah, no thank you. No thank you. Seeds, yes please. While we're filling up here, just a reminder, if you haven't uh, clicked the uh, subscribe button, and don't forget to do so, always it very much uh, appreciated. And of course, uh, make sure you stay tuned for the next series here. Uh, again, I mean, the plan is to wrap up with Harvest on this map here. And we still have, well, a few episodes left to go yet, that is for sure. And when I say a few, I, mean, I don't know. Like, We are going to play until Harvest is complete, everyone. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing at this point, I'm probably two weeks. I don't think we can finish harvest this week. We got several cornfields, um, lots of soybeans, so it'll probably be for sure, I think, be two weeks, seven, maybe even three. I, I don't know. Which, actually, I mean, if it is three weeks, well, no, that doesn't quite get us to the end of the year, does it? Is it five weeks till the end of the year? Eh, we'll see once. We'll see once how it goes, that one. Has reached field 41. Cool. Well, we're heading out to field 47 here. Hop up our planter. And again, I'm going to throw this on course, play one. And we'll see if we can actually get to what I was planning. Oh, what the? Oh. I just seen this. There's seed sitting out here. Okay, there was seed in the... I must have accidentally pushed the empty button. And I was changing seed. I'm like, okay, well then. Nah, I better not take that driveway. I'm have to move this seed here, man. Okay, let's uh, grab this one here. Tender's full, so I can't just put it in that. We'll have to actually put it in the cedar here, I guess. Uh, we'll just set that over there. Set that over there as well. Hopefully they're all close enough. We can just hit the fill button here. Not sure. We'll see how much this actually fills it up. Maybe this will actually fill the planter. Nope, probably not. Well, it definitely didn't uh, quite fill it, but it's at least half full now. Which means we still need this yet, so that's good. Let's uh, get this in the field here. We'll have to... Yeah, we'll just turn around in the field here, because we need to have this facing the other way here. And luckily, the field's not planted yet. Turn around the field. We'll be ready to leave the, the field here then. Once we're all done with it anyway. Wipe out. Yeah, we'll close the tarp, I guess. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll just pull up here, I guess. I think I can pull up close enough, I think, anyway. Maybe. Let's see if we just gotta open the cover. Hopefully it's just a matter of opening the cover, everyone. Hmm. Well then. Okay, we can pull forward just a little bit more, maybe. We're not quite far enough forward. Ah, there we go. What not quite. So close, I'm so close. Guess it's a little bit that picky on its fill zone then, isn't it? Okay, there we go. 
I don't know if that's going to be enough seed to plant this entire field or not. I guess we'll find out. I'm going to guess based on how much it used. Well, actually, I'm not sure. Probably not. Okay, course plate, you're up. Uh, number of headlands, let's do probably three would be uh, good just to be safe. Generate that course. You know, if this is the DB120, two would probably be uh, sufficient. At least I would hope anyway, right? Okay, first waypoint. Drive the course. Okay, that's all set. Let's get the next one going here. as well. Uh, Headland, yeah, that's actually probably pretty good, I would think. Oh, we passed the first headland on that one just a little bit, didn't we? First waypoint. Drive course. And of course, that will be good uh, fertilizer-wise here. Uh, soybeans do not need any fertilizer, although I'd I see the nitrogen's okay there. Okay, nitrogen, perfect. Oh, you know what? Uh, nitrogen's probably... Yeah, it's probably not seen perfect here because we're close to this. That's probably why I've had to guess. And yeah, there the nitrogen is perfect. This kind of just takes an average of the area where you're around, everyone. So, like, if you go stand here... Yeah, you see the pH is good. Technically, that is not true, oven. The pH is actually, like, bad right here, right? It, it's, it's bad right here. Now, right there, it's good. Here is bad. But yeah, just uh, based on the way the game does the average there. You know, so you got perfect. And then you got bad. Wow, wow actually, it's bad right there. Okay, wait, there we go. But I just got to look that way, huh? That's, that's actually, I'm done. Wow, it's perfect. I wonder if it has to do with a pointer. I thought it always was like the average where you're standing. But maybe the pointer has something to do with it too. Or either that, maybe it uh, factors the area in front of you, not the area behind you. I don't know, whatever, anyway. Okay, well, we'll let... Uh, let Corsplay take care of that. And the job I probably should let Corsplay take care of, but we're going to start ourselves here, is weeding. Let's get off the pole. There we go. Well, it destroys the grass here. That's cool. Okay, so this is a job apparently you can only do at 7 mile an hour. Love those jobs, Evan. Why did I agree to do this job? Oh, just sell. Check in at nearest institution. Oh, must be on autosave. There's the autosave. Okay, well, anyway, let's head over to the uh, comment section here. See what you folks had to say here for last episode. Uh, starting off with Hetro here. He was saying, good video. My favorite map so far was Edgewater, Saskatchewan. Uh, it's a 1x map, but the fields are big and anything but box. Oh, anything but boxy, huh? Oh, boy. Uh, Hatcher was also saying I have a beef about modders here in Farming Simulator 22. Everyone seems to be modding tractors and not so much American tillage equipment. I watched a video where a uh, U.S. farmer used a Lemkin chisel plow about 9 to 10 meters wide. Never heard of this brand having a chisel plow. I wonder why there's so little chisel plows in Farming Simulator 22. There's plenty of people not in the e EU that create mods here for Farming Simulator 22. Uh, yeah, very good point there on that one, if you ask me there, Hatcho. Uh, you do not see very many chisel plows here for Farming Simulator 22. I, and again, I don't know why. Well, at least on the European side, I think I can answer that one. I, again, I don't claim to be an expert on the European farming. Uh, in fact, for those of you who have ever listened to what I had to say about European farming, it's, it's not very nice, really. <laughs> All the European farming I look at, it's like, okay, what kind of backwards 1950s... Like, oh my goodness, Evan, like, uh, I'm sorry, we're not going back to the 1950s here for your farming. Well, apparently in Europe you are, but uh, whatever. 
Uh, Lemkin European brand, I do believe. I think, right? I'm not really familiar with Lemkin there, so. But I'm pretty sure that's a European brand, if I had to guess. It's a brand that's in the game, so. But yeah, obviously on the European side of things, I can't say I've ever seen any European farmers using chisel plows. I don't, eh, maybe there are some of them, but uh, for the most part, most of the European farmers I've seen doing farming, they're uh, using uh, like the old technology. <laughs> it's known as a moldboard plow. Uh, something, uh, yeah, you don't really see used in the uh, States much anymore. Maybe if there are a few odd jobs here and there, but uh, generally speaking, they've been replaced one of two ways. Either one, they've been replaced with a chisel plow. Or two, farmers have done away with tillage altogether, or mostly, like uh, they're not doing any like heavy tillage. So they're not doing any you know, chisel plowing, right? So yeah, I don't know, maybe that's partly why we don't see much for chisel plows. They're just uh, maybe not quite as common as they used to be. By the way, for those of you uh, wondering why I don't typically do this job. See any change in the field? Nope. I don't think there's any change on the map either. Like, I don't know that there's any way of telling... Yeah, like, how would you know that I've done this? Stuff? I don't think there's a way to know. Other than it might... If I go back here... Yeah, okay. It, it does say, like, there's no weeds, Kevin. So that part is good. You know, if we go back over here, weeds are growing. So it is removing the weeds. I mean, you just, there's no visual indicator anywhere that it's actually working. Also, this field needs to be rolled, too. That's something else I forgot. We will probably do that. Might as well, right? Rolling soybeans is a good idea. Oh, let's get some uh, GPS lined up here. Uh, actually, yeah, before we auto with that, we should probably get an angle, zero degrees. Then we can auto with that, 80 feet, not too shabby. And let's shift that over a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, like I said, I have no change in the ground texture, no change in the map at all. Oh, well, gets the job done, though. And again, this is why I typically uh, have course play do this job, Evan, because then I don't have to worry about where we have and haven't been. Plus, wow, seven miles an hour. It's a little bit brutal. Uh, Ethan was saying, saw a map come out yesterday on the Mod Hub that would make for an interesting next playthrough. The map's called Chipping at Norton. It seems to be modeled very closely to Jeremy Clarkson's farm, Diddly Squat. Ooh, that might be kind of an interesting one, Evan. Uh, again, I, I think for our next map, Evan, I think we're going to have to go to Westbridge Hills. Uh, just Again, just for like a little short... Like I said, it's been 10 years since we've played on the map. I mean, you know, 10-year anniversary on Westbridge Hills. I think we at least uh, just, even if it's a week, two weeks, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Once. We'll, we'll play a few episodes on there, everyone. And then maybe, uh, yeah, then we'll have to look for another map. Uh, Brian Van Kirk. He's got some other stuff in there, but I think it's Brian Van Kirk was saying, nope, can't do it. Can't watch you planting into a field with straw swaths again. See you on the next one. Ah. That is a good point there, Brian. That is a good point. Um, and if you notice, I did actually have the straw swaths turned off. But then, of course, they kept turning them back on. So, that's what happened there, for those of you wondering. Christopher was saying, if I was playing on the PC, I would only play with the PC maps. I don't think that's a good... Uh, I don't think that's a good thing, to be honest, Evan, because... Uh, some of the modders make perfectly good maps out there that are available for both PC and the console. Now, this one, again, of course, is unfortunately only available for the PC. Uh, there's probably a couple of reasons for that. Uh, one of which is it is a 4X map, so four times bigger than your normal map. It's, it's this big map, right, everyone? So that's got a lot to do with it, I think, but... KE's Gaming was saying, on the first... Okay, there you go. Uh, first comment, I'm assuming. Yeah, looks like he probably is. 
Uh, Chris Darvo was saying, good video. Keep it up. Hey, thank you very much for that. Uh, Keith was saying, Tony Fast uses his 100-foot Burgo to plant corn. I'm going to have to check this out. I have never heard of anyone using that to plant corn. That is, uh, yeah, definitely going to have to look into this one. Everyone. I've never heard of a drill being used. Well, I shouldn't say that. I have heard of it being used, but not typically in any sort of good way, right? Okay, well, just looked at the time, everyone. It is time to wrap it up here for this episode. So that you folks have any comments and or questions, be sure to leave them down below. And till next time.